In this video, we're looking at the what you see is what you get or the WYSIWYG report writing capabilities of the Bill of Material Manager. One of the complaints we hear most often is that people struggle with getting decent Bill of Material reports out of their system. We're looking at a standard Bill of Material within the system uh, for a particular part and we're looking at it at a multi-level view. Uh, so we see different levels which are expanded. We also see different columns of information that we're seeing for this bill of material. I'm just going to show you the uh, default view here. We're just going to go out and print the bill of material. And I have some options here in regards to memo fields. Do I want to print the full memo field out on the report for the bill of material and also the routing? I'm going to select no and just go on and bring up the print preview. When we're looking at the print preview, we see the uh, bill of material displayed as it was displayed on the grid. Okay, and that's what we mean is what you see is what you get. So the columns that we're seeing are the columns that are on the grid. The rows or the components that are expanded are the components that were expanded on the grid. Um, closing this and going back, we'll make some changes to the grid just to show you how this works. What we'll first do is we'll expand the memo field. So we're just drag the memo field a little bit larger there. And also we'll expand a couple routing. So we're going to go out to the CS2004B and expand its routing. We're also going to come down to the CP2090 and expand it to go down one more level in the bill material. And finally down here at the CS2330 will bring up its routing as well. So we're looking at some changes that we made to the grid and now we'll come back, hit the print icon, we'll take our defaults here on the memo fields and zoom in on the report and now what we see is that the columns or the routings that we had expanded are the routings that are, be are being displayed on the grid. We also see that we expanded the CP2090 so now that is expanded on the report. And finally we see that our memo field, we dragged that larger and on the report now that memo field is dragged larger on the report as well. So that's what kind of what we mean by what you see is what you get. I'd like to show you that same capability now but in a job bill of material. So we're just going to go up, bring up a job bill of material, job uh, 56, and bring up its bill of material. Again, I have, I'm looking at this in a multi-level, so I'm seeing the different sub-jobs that are related to job 56. If I expand sub-job 1, we see that sub-job 1 actually has sub-job 4 underneath it as a child job. And so I'm going to just start by coming out here and printing the uh, default here. So we're going to hit print, and we're going to do OK here and zoom in on the report and now I'm looking at a job bill of material report with the columns that I had displayed on the grid are displayed on the report um, the different levels I expanded out sub job 1 so now sub job 1 is showing uh, sub job 4 down below it okay uh, from there we'll close this and we'll go out there and we'll expand the routing for sub job 000 and we'll show the routing for sub job 4. So we'll expand sub job 4 and show its routing and expand that. Now we'll hit the printer icon again and again it'll be what you see is what you get. However we have the grid formatted that's the way our report. So now we see our routings routing for subjob 000 and the routing for subjob 004 are being displayed. Again, a real effective report writing tool to get effective re bill of material reports out of your system.